Hello, today I want to walk through a series of several videos here just uh, showing us how to create the numerous different types of assessments that we're going to be utilizing this year in North Kansas City for our common formative assessments and our common unit assessments. So I'll have us log into the Illuminate site and once we're logged in we're going to start creating some assessments today. So we're just going to go ahead and click create an assessment. Pulls up this window to choose the different types of assessments we can pick and we're going to show you again item bank today. Here if you're thinking about creating an item bank assessment for ELA you're going to want to use the standard mode. If you're creating one for math, social studies, and science, uh, quick mode seems to function the best for those. So I'm going to show an ELA one today so we're going to do standard mode. So click next. So this part right here with the assessment name is going to be very important. All of our buildings have a specific code they're going to use when we start creating all of our common assessments with the year, your building name, um, what assessment content area it is, but there's a whole naming convention um, that each assessment will have to follow. For the purpose of this today, I'm just going to put my name in and I'm going to write item bank so I can keep a good log of the different types of videos I make. So we'll give it a name. You're going to want to select your academic year, obviously. Select your grade level. I'm going to choose seventh grade and then choose your subject. So I said I'm going to choose ELA today. And I'll click create. Now I'm going to choose my standards. So this is what's important for all of our assessments here is we can go ahead and link all the different standards and then be able to find items that match the criteria for those standards. So under my type, what standards am I assessing? We are going to want to scroll down and choose under Missouri the learning standards. So we want to have our Missouri learning standards chosen. You can again choose your subject area. Since it's ELA, we're doing that test. Grade level, again, I'll pick seventh grade. And you can see all of your standards here. We can click all these little drop down arrows and it will start to expand all of our different uh, standards. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a couple to start with today. So I'll drill all the way down and find this one, 7.rl.1.a. So I'll click that, it's going to turn green, and then you're going to notice over here on the right hand side that standard shows up over here. And then let's just choose one more and we'll have this one chosen. So we now have two different standards we're going to assess. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. So now I'm on step three to add my items. You see how my standards are selected. So item banks. If you just choose to leave them all blank, it's going to pull from all item banks. So it'll give you the most options. Item types, here you can click. You can choose the types of questions you want to have. So I'm going to choose multiple choice and maybe a constructed response. I can also then go into attributes, and this is where I can really kind of hone down. So of course you can pick things like, say, your depth of knowledge. You want to have uh, level two DOK questions. Um, so all different kinds of attributes to kind of help filter down and kind of narrow down your search questions. I'll click update filters. So every time I choose one of these, it starts to research and give me a new field of searched items. And you can see now that I have 72 passages and 118 items to choose from. So then what I need to do is actually go through and pick out the items that I want to add to my assessment. So you're going to be able to just scroll through and choose all the questions that you want to meet the needs of the standards you want to assess. So maybe I choose to add this question, add this question, and you'll notice as I add those, it now tells me over here, this is the passage I picked, and these are the two standards that I picked. And if I am struggling to find my other standard, what I can do is go up here, and I can choose to just toggle the standard I wanna look for and update those filters. So I'll go ahead and choose this first passage here because I now have a question with this 7.rl.1.c. I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's just going to review my items. So here I can rearrange questions if I'd like to. Uh, but when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and click next again. We're just going to go ahead and click next because we're not actually making a test booklet for them since they're going to be testing online. And then now when I'm ready, I can just go ahead and click publish. That assessment is now published. If I wanted to, I could click preview up here. And it would actually walk me through what a preview of the assessment would look like for the students when they take the test. Always a good idea to preview your assessment to see what that's going to look like. Brings me back to my item bank. Okay, so that is how you create an item bank assessment. When we're ready to actually administer the test, we'll go ahead and return to Illuminate. 
So this takes you back to the view assessment page and from here you can select the assessment you want to administer. So check out our video on setting up administrations for your assessments to walk through how to set up assessments to either test in the portal or test with a quick code.